What is up, good people of the internet? I am Multimedior, and uh, as promised, at least as I promised a few of you, I, uh, uh, I'm making this video to show you how to install the modded decks for uh, Matty 2013. And uh, I'm going by the mail that uh, Harbinger, um, uh, who's also appeared in the comment box on uh, ser several of my videos, uh, he uh, he put together for me and, and uh, to to explain all of it. So basically, all you need to do well, let me just find the folder. the f The first thing you need to do is locate your Steam folder. If you don't know where it is, um, it's usually on the C drive under App Data or something like that. And uh, I've changed mine as you you can see i i i've made a, a custom folder and um i don't know if i'm revealing something right now that might uh um make me vulnerable to some kind of hacking um i certainly hope not um anyways uh if you don't know where it is i'm not gonna look it up because it's kind of troublesome for me but or actually wait maybe it's not it's actually he right here um Oh right, it's on the C drive program file Steam Steam apps common unless you have a uh, a custom uh, folder for it uh, just like I do. And uh, what you do is you go into um, the Steam folder, then you go to Steam apps, then you go to common, and then you find Magic 2013 like I found right here. What you do then is that you uh, copy it and paste it. So you have a copy. I'm not going to do that, by the way, because I already have it. But um, basically, that's what you're going to do to begin with. Um, and uh, you, you can call this folder whatever, as long as you make sure that the modded folder is called something different than the original folder. The original folder should correspond to the reference links or the references in Steam. Um, I guess you can make an uh, an extra link for your modded folder as well, but just make sure that you have just for uh, just for good common sense. Just make sure that you have one clean folder, the the original folder that you can play online with, and there's no problem and so on. And then and, and then you have the modded folder for all that other nonsense, so you don't get you know you don't have the trouble of uh, messing up your files in some way, and you won't be able to revert or whatever. Um, what you do next is, as you can see, there's lots of what files, and these are the. Some of them are. Um, I think these, for example, are the. Um, get out of here. Are the um, the the DLC files and uh, something like this, and a lot of the other ones are. Well, some of them are are the regular decks, but a lot of the other ones are like uh, modded decks like this one, Divine Resurrection, Indestructible Knights, uh, Fable of Wolf and Sh uh, Shaman, and, or, and some of these are very, very new decks that I haven't tested out, but you see I have a lot of them, and I have about a gigabyte of, um, of Watt files, which is not in the original uh, game, so that's a lot of decks. I think a little bit more than a hundred decks, maybe even, yeah, a lot. Anyways, the important thing is that when you want to launch this, um, when you want to launch the modded files or, or the modded version of the deck, you go to this folder, uh, the modded folder, and launch this file right here, not the other original uh, folders, uh, dotp underscore d thirteen dot exe file. You 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 execute this file. Um, so you have two different, uh, two se separate games, one modded and one unmodded. All right. So, second of all, is that you will need to download this file, and it's in the description along with a bunch of the decks. Not all of the decks, because they keep adding new decks all the time. So I'll give you the address to um, I'll give you the address to to the forum where they keep adding new decks, and just check it out uh, once in a while because they add so many. It's incredible. Anyways, you need this one: d three d x nine underscore fourth of 43.dll which is dll is basically a kind of a i think it's kind of like a reference file for uh like a part of the engine of uh of the program um and this one makes it possible that uh, so that you can actually use the modded files um so yeah 
after that you just start downloading um you just start downloading the decks and you place them oh by the way the the, the dll file is placed here in the root of uh your your modded folder um and the same goes for all the wad files which are the modded decks all the decks are placed or deck files are placed here in the root as well um i should say that some files do not some files include more than one deck and other files include no deck but include for example cards or like a bunch of different things which are kind of like reference material for other decks so um not all not, like one file does not necessarily correspond to one deck is what i'm gathering i'm not entirely sure but this is what i'm gathering from my limited knowledge of this uh, magic 2013 modding um on top of that i think uh, i think this is basically it as, sh as soon as you've done this uh, this uh, as soon as you've copied your folder put the dll file in started adding uh the the wad files the, the 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 modded deck files into it you can just um you just launch the 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 game and there you you can check it the the decks are there you can find them in the um you you can find them uh, available for playing uh you can find them available in the in the deck manager and so on and so forth and some of it and it doesn't really work for me but i've seen people explain to me how uh, how to make it work but there are some added campaign things uh um for example there's an added uh, i think magic 2012 campaign which makes it uh possible to unlock the different decks in the in the game but i i think um i think one of the dlcs perhaps the the first expansion um kind of messed up that file so you can you can remove that file i, I don't know exactly but you, i'm sure you can look it up on the website that i'm referencing it referencing in the in the ugh, in in the description there we go Anyways, I wanted to get on to a second thing, and that's uh, I've been asked so many times: Is it possible to play these decks multiplayer? Yes, it is. Well, there are three answers: There's yes, there's no, and there's yes, but. And let's start with the yes, but. Um, first of all, it's possible to play regular multi multiplayer with modded decks, uh, as long as the decks, the the, the modded decks include. Um, only includes cards from uh which are already in the in the game is what i gather and people cheat some people at least cheat and make decks which they which they can play online but which are crazily overpowered and so on um with moxes and more copies of good really really good cards and so on then that should be or then that there should be available from the beginning and um i frown upon that and so should you and everybody else this is a bad modding this is bad hacking and cheating and so on it's 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 not what this is for and this is what uh, gives the modding community a bad name so let's move on to the second uh, answer and that is no it's not possible it's not possible to play any of these these decks that i've installed here um online um the reason for this is it's kind of hinted in in the first answer and that is uh many of these decks don't have well, first of all, there's no reference on the other side if you play online. Like your your opponent will not have the deck, and there's no reference. Uh, plus, there's no like many of the mechanics that are introduced with these decks, and many of the cards that I introduced with these decks are unavailable, so you won't be able to play them. So that's kind of like my first answer might not e even be entirely correct, but I know that my second answer is that that is that you cannot play these online unless and this is the third answer uh yes you can play them if and only if your opponent has the same decks the same files installed not not necessarily all the same files but the the particular decks and the reference files that you're using or that the deck is using it's not always that the deck has any particular reference file uh which need to be installed um of which are of separate from the deck file but 
it, sometimes they have, and you need everything that's related to that particular deck that you're playing, and your opponent needs everything that's related to that particular deck you're playing, all the things that it references, in order for you guys to play. And uh, it, regardless of if you're playing a modded deck and he or she is playing a um, a, a non-modded deck or not, so you both need the same files so what i recommend is that you 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 find your friends who also uh, who who also like playing magic 2013 and who would also be interested in in, in modding uh, or or running a modded version and you do the same like you you find the same decks and 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 install them and then you then you have like the same base of decks that you can play with and um well, the, the the second good thing about it is, uh, aside from being able to actually play a lot of new decks, which are amazingly imaginatively built, uh, is that um, that that you actually get someone to play with, and you 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 th that people uh, you you know you you kind of agree on being able to to play decks which are in some case very overpowered and in some case just like reasonably reasonably balanced and and well made and so on so it's not going to be a nasty surprise if uh, for for somebody who who doesn't know what they walk into or, or step into even though that's not entirely possible like i said before so these are the things that i wanted to tell you in this video um f like i said first the I'll put uh, all the I'll put a bunch of uh, of of links in the description where you can get a bunch of decks. But go look for them yourself if you want regularly updated uh, decks. Uh, until recently, there were like I think forty decks. May have actually be I think around um, November or December, it looked like there were like ten to. 40 decks at the most but now there's more than 100 decks um and it's pretty insane and it keeps like it it seems like it's really taken off and 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 uh, the community is growing is is my uh, without really having looked deeper into it it's it's my general sense and i hope that i've been able to to help out a little bit if not then i'm just happy that uh happy to be able to play these decks and i'm really really thankful for uh, f uh really thankful f uh for you know all the people who who actually made this deck and i think uh, uh there's there's a bunch of guys like harbinger, harbinger uh brought this to light uh for me there's uh, a guy called firemind there's soulstorm there's a reaction uh, there's a uh, blind willow there's skull blocker there's pablo and there's a bunch more people so i think these guys deserve a lot of credit for doing a lot of imaginative work and um I really can't take my hat so hat off enough for them um so uh please send a a a, a kind thought in their direction when um <laughs> please send a kind a kind thought in their direction uh of also dr legend who who uh um who w was another guy who who apparently um is part of this community uh called slightlymagic.net and um yeah um what i'm trying to say is just to send a kind thought in their direction when you download it because it's it's a lot of hard work uh, for these guys and they they're bringing many 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 hours of um of of a very interesting gameplay to the table which could potentially spawn a much larger community uh for playing magic 2013 and um um the thing is that i would like to put more effort into um i would like to put more effort into building a kind of modded community thing where we have events uh maybe one time uh, one, like once a week or something do uh like for example a free for all so or two-headed giant events or something and maybe bring on in more uh commentators on it because it's it, it's kind of fun it, it brings something new to the table and uh um just think about how much time we've all spent uh unlocking playing getting to know familiarize ourselves perfecting our craft with the 21 default decks or the 10 default decks and the 11 down uh, dlc decks 
th this has taken at least for me at least it's taking so many 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 hours several hundred hours uh to to get familiar with uh with these decks and 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 become pff, i don't know in to varying degree good at using them and and good at uh figuring them out and so on and and these guys provide just like a plethora of hours with um really really good decks some of them are amazingly built i would say some of them are a little too clumsily overpowered but that's to be expected uh, because not everybody is like adept at creating really well balanced decks but i i would say that about 90 percent of the decks at least are really really interesting and, and good decks um perhaps even way more than that um lots of great decks and lots of them reference uh tendencies in the pro um uh, on the pro scene and uh, uh from magic online like popular uh, deck builds and so on so yeah um and 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 I, sh I should mention that uh some of these decks are actually utilizing um utilizing cards from the latest uh, uh the the latest set that's out in paper magic gate crash so you have a really huge range of different kinds of uh decks and themes and uh cards and so on so yeah again thanks to these guys for uh for uh, putting in a lot of hard work and uh hope you guys enjoy it hope you guys like it and hope you guys get a lot of uh game time out of it so um yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Multimedia and uh, later.